ladies, you know, um, Black China's father. Were you married? Were you single? Did that come about? And where were you at in your in, at that time in your life mm -hmm. to be having a child? Sixteen years old, and it was a bad. Uh, like how bad? Like just to, yeah, to little. It... Was no hugging, no kissing. It was oh. let's get it and go. Oh, rabbit. Oh, just... Yeah, I didn't even know. He, I didn't even know he actually bust nothing up. Oh, God, so... You did, That's how bad those are the worst ones where you're like, oh wait, you it's, oh, wait, I'm, I'm missing my son. wait, I'm, I'm so you had no relationship with him prior. None. We just hung out a little bit, and like a week later, it was a wrap. Yeah. So how, how was it like letting him know, like, damn, I'm pregnant? Who my mother? No, your the, the guy. Oh, did, um. Did you, did you shit. I mean, did you tell him? Yeah, I told him. And he said, oh shit, oh shit, oh. I'm like. The fuck wrong with you? Sad story. The problem was he had a wife. Oh, oh, and the plot thickens. Oh, yeah. damn. And so he too lived across the street from me and his daughter. And I too would walk past him and his wife. So let me ask you this. You're 16 years old. Yeah. He's married. How old is he? 22. Oh, okay. Okay, plot thickens. Yeah. So... Did you Black even want to disturb, him, disturb his marriage at all with that information? No, when you're young, it's like, and I mean, I was kind of getting trained back then, you know, with the street game and stuff like that. So it's like, you did it. It's 50-50. You could have said no. You laid that ass down. You cocked that shit up. Let's go. That was the end of the story. Bruh, what is going on, bruh? This is why everybody don't need a goddamn podcast. Everybody with a platform get people to come on, whether they pay them or the person just want a little piece of fame. They sit down in front of a camera and start giving it up. And of course, Tokyo Tony, being the same woman who she been shown ever since Black China was famous, she don't give a damn about privacy. She would tell it all. And the sad part is, Every Black China interview I've seen over the past month or two, she ain't say nothing bad about her mother. She said her mother was a hustler. She did the best she could do. You know what I'm saying? She taught me some things. I don't got nothing but love for my mama. But her own mother speak about her daughter like a dog. They speak like enemies. Black China is in her 30s, and she got to hear stories like this. And her grandkids... They old enough to get on YouTube, Instagram, and see this as well. I can only imagine me being a little kid, seeing my grandma wild out online every day. Or being her child, seeing her own mother wild out every day, talking about her. Every time she open up her phone and make a video or Instagram post, whatever she do, is bashing her own blood. And I'm pretty sure over the years, Black China probably gave her mother thousands if not more than that and it just seemed like whenever black china turned her back on her mother because her mother is doing too much she feels entitled to everything the entitlement and the narcissistic tendencies is so real when somebody feel like they could do no wrong all they would do is just show negative energy of how you owe them this you owe them this People like her don't change. And Black China just being so respectful, she's trying to reinvent herself, got surgery done, all this stuff, just for her mama to sit down with all these people and spill the beans. Yeah, I feel sorry for her, man. What y'all think about this, your boy? Be, mom.